welcome to the daily newscast within the United Country special by First Ukraine. You can find us in the frequencies available at our website firstua.com. Victoria Zabian is working for you in the studio. Thank you for joining us. Russian writer dissident Vladimir Vainovich had written the open letter to Vladimir Putin. He asks him to not dishonor himself and Russia and to release Ukrainian pilot Nadia Savchenko. Let me recall that yesterday Moscow court had left her behind bars till the May. Appealing of Mr. Vainovich was published at the website of the project Open Russia. If young Ukrainian heroine Nadia Savchenko dies in Russian prison from starvation, this probably won't hurt your electorate's feelings. But you should think about the impression it will make on world society's opinion. There is already not very good attitude towards you outside our country. But after Savchenko's death, you'd better not appear in Western countries' capitals. Crowds of people will meet you with dismissive shouts and will throw something stinky in you. State Department of United States of America condemns cruel attitude to Ukrainian pilot. Handling with Nadia Savchenko is unacceptable according to any standards. It was said by a spokesperson of the State Department, Jem Psaki. United States of America encouraged Russia to obey its responsibilities on Minsk agreement and to release Ukrainian pilot and other Ukrainian hostages. And for the last time during the long time, the night in Papasna was calm. It is reported by the head of Lugansk Regional Administration. Because of the ceasefire, workers begin to renew the damaged communications. Now people have water, electricity and gas over the old town. Electricity heated systems were also renewed in Stanitsa Luhanska since yesterday. We still have no connection with Novotoshkivka and Troitsky, where Ukrainian soldiers are. That is why it is unknown what the situation is there. Ukrainian army is ready to begin the withdrawal of heavy armament from the dividing line, but soldiers are waiting for total ceasefire in Donbass. It was reported by the representatives of General Headquarters. For today, there's the only one document that was approved during the Minsk meeting. And according to this agreement, the separation barrier lies between the warring countries. A delimitation line defined areas on which we will withdraw our troops, forces and artillery after the relevant command. We're ready for this work. Forces of ATO are ready to perform these tasks. Russian MPs want to bring European products back to shops. Representatives of the party Just Russia proposed the consideration of Russian parliament, the law project about cancellation of restrictions for importation of goods from European Union. Members of parliament say that Russian sanctions appeared ineffective, ineffectively because some forbidden pro-European goods were imported from Russia through the other countries, so their price had risen. Let me recall that Russia had provided sanctions for European products in last year August. And currency crisis in Russia hits Central Asia. Because of the rubble price fall, hundreds of thousands of migrants go home. The government of Kyrgyzstan is waiting that this year every fifth migrant worker will come to motherland. According to different sources, it is from 100 to 200,000 people. How Western sanctions against Russia and cost cutting of oil influence life of simple Kyrgyzian citizens in our story next. Daniel Narbaev, a graduate of economics and law faculty, he was only able to get a job as an unskilled worker. After eight years of construction work in the Moscow suburbs, he now has to go back to Bishkek. The reason is the financial crisis in Russia. His mother and two sons await him there. A grandmother mother is raising boys while the parents are gone as migrant workers. The situation is really bad because of inflation. The son used to send money in rubles, but the ruble is becoming cheaper. Another problem is getting worker permits in Russia. Starting this January, Russia has adopted a new migration law. In order to apply for a job, one needs to obtain a special license. Its cost is 4,000 rubles in Moscow region. It is issued for the terms from one month to one year. Everything is very expensive here and in Moscow as well. When we came there, the situation was better. What makes it worse is that the salary level decreased because of the increasing amount of migrants from Tajikistan and Uzbekistan. Danyar's wife is still in Moscow. If the situation does not get better, she will have to return to Kyrgyzstan. If my wife comes back now, I don't know what we will do. The future is very foggy. Definitely we will try to find a job here. 
So far, every tenth Kyrgyz lived like that. Men travel away as migrant workers and transfer earned money back to families. The transfer amount from the migrant workers in Russia is almost 20 percent of Kyrgyzstan's GDP. However, it is only what comes as bank transfers. It's nearly impossible to calculate how much cash is brought home by workers. It is expected the amount of migrant workers to Russia will decrease in the near future. This year, we expect a 20 percent migration decrease. One of the main reasons is the currency exchange rate difference. Because of the sanctions of the West and the oil price fall, the Russian ruble has lost in value nearly two times. Kyrgyzstan's sum has decreased 20 percent. Sergei Vilichansky, Arsen Simbaluk, First Ukraine. For the one year of annexation of Crimea, 20,000 people had left the peninsula. This is the data of the state service of emergencies. Peoples were located over the whole Ukraine. Most of them live in the Lviv region. Flats, private houses, sanatoriums and hostels were given to displaced people for the temporary staying. Our journalists were at the sanatorium not far from Kyiv. That is one of the buildings of the sanitarium called Pusha Vodica. 64 migrants from Crimea have been living here for a year, 16 children among them. Mikhail and his wife left Crimea in March last year. We left for free room flat on the peninsula. Now we live in this room. That is our picture. We were so young, 44 years old. Sure, youth. And this is a picture from this new year. The man narrates, at the beginning of the annexation, the citizens didn't understand that there were the Russian militants on the peninsula. For them, they were unknown green mannequin. When the militants came to storm the staff and the ships like Olshansky, Kirovograd, Cherkasy ships, we understood that everything is very serious, that it could grow into war. Our balcony faces a park and sea. We witnessed everything all the time. Then the Russian ships came when they were threw bombs out of the board to terrify Ukrainian soldiers and make them to surrender. It was very loud. We watched the staff. There were Ukrainian flags. And when it was an assault, Russian occupied the staff and put Russian flags. Mikhaila said that is the end. In a month after the occupation of Crimea, the couple decided to leave for Kyiv. They didn't know where to live. When they came by train, they were told that on Komarova Street uh, there worked a committee. We went there and registered, and when we were settled here, I do not want to live in Russia. It doesn't satisfy me. I'm ethical Ukrainian. We got used to everything, but there is a nostalgia for home. Sometimes I feel the smell of the sea, feel the breeze, waves, storms. It's very hard. I want to go home. In the settlement of Konchazovs, the couple is engaged in social activities. They live on pension. For the last months, the state has been giving them money to pay for the housing. In a canteen, they have free meals twice a day from Canadian missionaries. We cook soups, borscht for the morning, and potatoes, fish, pilaf for the evening. The Crimean did not complain about living conditions, but hoped to return home to the end of the year. Olena Samsonov, Alexander Samulov, Yuri Lyshitko, First Ukraine. And social networks leaks classified information about the readiness and combat training of Russia Federation Black Sea Fleet. In the leakage, there is a report of results of fleet inspection. The readiness of military staff was accounted unsatisfactory, and the fleet failed to stand to checks. Among documents, there is a plan of Black Sea Fleet activities in 2014 prior to Winter Olympics in Sochi. According to War Reality Game Trainings, Russia announced the NATO countries, Western coalition and Arabian monarchies as their enemies and are preparing for destabilization of situation in northern Caucasus. However, the scope of the kind of trainings coincided with similar real actions of Black Sea Fleet in Crimea during the annexation last February and March. Lithuanian cents have a new home. Cents, which were from the new year, had been changed to euros, were used as for decoration of the room. It is throne room with real king's armchair, giant nap and monetary books. About new life of old money in our story next. Students from Shaolai City began collecting material for the throne room made of Lithuanian cents in summer. One penny after another and there was enough for walls, ceiling and even a real royal armchair. A room was found in the local university's library. We have received many envelopes and packages with Lithuanian cents from the whole country, from different cities. It's even hard to count all people who have sent us money. Even children share their cents with us. The pride of the whole is a volumetric map of Lithuania made of small change. Cents were selected by size and color. Authors and performers even didn't count how many cents they had used, though they want to register their achievement in Guinness World Records.
All of us have participated in creation of this room, and we have seen that process. The work lasted for a long time. We were worried about if there is enough money for creating the room. And once we were told that everything is finished, the whole looks fantastic. Litas was in the country between the First and the Second World Wars. Then it was replaced by the Soviet rubble and returned only in the 90s, after restoration of independence. Since the 1st of January this year, country has switched to a common currency, euro. Lesya Krasun, First Ukraine. It was the United Country news cast by the First Ukraine. You can find more details at our website, firstua.com. Victoria Zabian was working for you in the studio. Wish you only good news. Take care and goodbye.